If you have worked with GSI vision dryers, you have most likely encountered the following error. Flame sensing is one of the most common issues on drying equipment, and for GSI portable dryers, that means lost time and money if you are experiencing a consistent loss of flame. In this video, we will discuss how flame rectification works in GSI portable dryers, causes of flame sensing issues, and troubleshooting techniques to solve flame sensing issues. While flame sensing on all drying equipment is necessary, not every system detects flame the same way. GSI portable dryers use a process called flame rectification to sense flame. Flame rectification is unique in that it does not require heat to sense flame. Flame is sensed when flame comes into physical contact with the flame probe. As shown, the flame probe is located next to the burner on GSI portable dryers. The flame probe is connected to two wires which run from the flame probe into the fan heater board. Where one wire is then ran to the ground and the other wire goes to the fin wall flame sensing board. When the flame touches the flame probe, it completes an electrical circuit which sends a very small microamp signal to the flame sensing device. When that microamperage is present at the flame sensing device, it sends a signal to the fan heater board, indicating that flame is present and the dryer should continue in normal operation. As previously mentioned, to consistently sense flame, there must be a completed circuit caused by the flame being in direct contact with the flame rod, thus completing the circuit. When the flame is physically touching the flame probe, the circuit is complete, and as long as the flame sensing device is working properly and the wiring is connected and not damaged, it will sense flame. However, any time that flame misses the probe for any length of time, it opens the electrical circuit and the device will begin a shutdown for loss of flame. This is why a flame probe can be red hot but still cause flame sensing errors. Understanding how the dryer software operates is also important. Assuming you have established airflow, the following has to take place for the flame sensing to work properly. As demonstrated, you can see we are currently sensing flame. However, if we lose flame, the software will go through a process where first it will look for airflow, then it will try reigniting the burner. It will then again try reigniting the burner by sending power from the fan heater interface board to the fin wall board. The power then goes out to the gas solenoids and ignition as we're seeing takes place. All of this happens in approximately four seconds. If flame is not sensed, it will repeat this process several times before giving us the message on the screen. If this doesn't occur, then we need to troubleshoot the problem. When troubleshooting this error, it is important to determine a root cause. The three most likely causes of flame sensing errors are the flame probe not directly in the flame path, loss of fuel to the dryer, or a problem with the burner circuit. We will explore these in troubleshooting order. A common call we receive is when an error occurs when the burner is running in high-low mode. In this setting, the burner is cycling at low and high gas pressure to keep the temperature near the set point. The challenge with high-low mode is that on low fire, you can have less than one pound of gas pressure going to the burner and 10 plus pounds of gas pressure when in high mode. The size of the flame changes drastically so it can have a large impact on flame sensing. Remember, the flame probe must be positioned to physically touch the flame 
when the pressure is less than one pound and also when it is over 10 pounds. To provide a solution for this issue, there are several steps to follow. To provide a solution for a flame sensing issue, first monitor and try to understand when flame loss is happening. If you notice the dryer shut down when the burner switches to max pressure, the flame probe probably needs to be moved or bent towards the outer ring of the burner. If the burner shutdown occurs during low pressure, it typically means the probe needs moved towards the burner more since the flame will be smaller. Identifying when the flame sensing error occurs is the first step in troubleshooting. Another possible way to troubleshoot the flame sensing issue is to examine the fan heater board. The red light in the burner switch is actually a flame detection monitor. This light only comes on when flame is detected. Watch this light and when the burner is operating it should always be on. If for any reason it flickers or goes out this means that the physical connection between the flame probe and the flame has been lost. Before performing any service on a GSI portable dryer Always make sure that the main power switch is switched from on to the off position. Typically, the first attempt to solve a flame sensing issue is, once the power is disconnected, try to reposition the flame by either moving it or bending it to a location where you feel the flame will always be present. Your goal is to reestablish the connection. So based on your determination, if the flame is being lost at low gas pressure or high gas pressure, you will have to adjust this flame sensing rod one way or another. If you are confident the flame is constantly contacting the probe, but you are still receiving a flame sensing error, you should check the physical integrity of the wires and the wiring connections. After shutting off all power to the dryer, you should check the wires and wiring connections from the fin wall board out to the flame probe. You should then check the wiring connections in the wires and the fan heater box including the wires that go to the ground and the wires going to the fin wall flame sensor. If you see any physical damage to any of these wires please contact your GSI dealer who has been properly trained and can properly service your drive. Suspect an issue with your flame sensing board or your fan heater board this will require specially trained technicians to properly replace the boards. Please contact a trained GSI dealer to service your dryer. Now that we've gone through the troubleshooting steps, let's now review a few things to remember. First, a flame probe is nothing more than a conductor to send the amperage back to the flame sensing board and has no circuitry to go bad. It is simply a long piece of wire to conduct amperage. So if the wire is going to and from the flame probe do not look damaged and the flame probe is free of debris, there is nothing on the flame probe that can go bad. Sensing flame has nothing to do with heat, but instead the micro amperage detected by the flame sensing board. A flame probe can be bent to help move it to an area where flame is present at all times. Adjusting either the high or low side of gas pressure affects the size of the flame, which could cause flame detection issues. Adjustments may need to be made to the flame rod if changes in gas pressure or gas quality. And finally, remember that sensing flame is dependent on flame actually touching a flame probe and has nothing to do with heat on a flame probe. Now every year there's always a very small percentage of people that can't get the flame sensing to work. For them we've provided a UV scanner kit that can provide a different type of flame sensing detection. And as always, contact your GSI dealer with questions about your current or future GSI dryer.